Well, you know, if the video starts with me doing that, you know I made a whoopsie. And, man, what a whoopsie it was. Um, so, this isn't the first time I'm doing a recording of this topic of right here for, you know, soloing Safi Jiva. This is the second time. What happened the first time? Well, the audio didn't get recorded when it was recording the gameplay. So I was just left with a silent gameplay video of soloing Safi Jiva. Now, this is just the second attempt of doing this. Um, just like the first attempt, I didn't do it as like full energy. As you can see right here. Yeah, I definitely didn't just do full energy here. What? I don't know what to say about Safi, man. Safi is just so freaking annoying to deal with. But it's not impossible. But really, the question here is definitely, is it worth soloing Safi Jiva in 2024? We shall see. Your objective is to All right, I really have to make sure that I was getting everything recorded this time. Like, um, how you're going to definitely see this is not recommended for anybody. I mean... In the kit, okay. You say you can't do it now. All right then. You can't do it now, even though we're not even starting. Usually it will do it, but now it just doesn't want to for some reason. Oh boy, Safi once again. Now, as I was saying, um, the question on soloing Safi Jiva. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're like a a speedrun god that could do it at full power. But other than that, no. Safi's really not worth soloing. But on the contrary, if you actually have a group of people that you could do this with, I'd actually recommend that. I think it's definitely doable like that. God, man. I'm even amazed I hit it there. Ah, Freaking chip damage. Of course, man, every time. This move is so freaking annoying. Just Safi in general, man. It feels like it's almost impossible to hit it sometimes. I'm sorry for not really commentating much right now. Like, I really just want to get this done. Since I did this already, but now I'm choosing to do it again. Just for the sake of, like, having a better recording going. Now the ideal, I forgot to roll there. And right, let's see if I can bait this. Kinda did. There is a way that you can get that to avoid that, I should say. And really it's uh, going one direction because what Safi does is it tracks you while it's charging up, but as it's about to fire, it will actually like predict where you're going and it'll fire like ahead of you. So when you see its head tilt, you go the other direction or roll. You can just roll it. Now, just like everything else with this monster, of course, it takes practice. No mantle this time.
Alright, that's it for the top level. A piece of advice when you do this, it's always better to go back to the camp to do this. Because if you take the Wind Drake from the edge, you will waste time. Like, it's better to just do this, in all honesty. I forgot to put this on, too. But, since we're in level 2, we're going to apply the smoke bombs now. Wow, it's not often I get to actually, like, roll that air pressure or wind pressure. And will that be enough? It didn't look like it. Okay, now it's enough. Okay. <laughs> Let me get my mantle back. God. Ugh. It's after you. Watch out. Thought I did the roll better there. Apparently, I hit anything else besides the arm. I actually hit the head there, but the head... If in case you haven't noticed, yeah. The head is not really the best spot to hit it. Oh, uh, thanks for the paralysis, but now was not the best time for this. I need to get something tenderized. And there's the problem if I tenderize because then it just does this. It does it every single time. But at least it's tenderized now. Yeah, it was about to it literally was about to do it again right there. And yes, this goes for mount as well. The back is actually the best spot to hit it with the mount. At least in this floor. I guess it's still got the, yeah, it's still got the, um, the recover. It healed its tenderized spot. Yeah, we're just gonna go to its legs because that's a huge AOE in front of it. again. Oh yeah, another piece of advice that I got for this for sure. Um, I mean, most people that do this solo pretty much uh, take Fatalis. Uh, what was I going to go on about? Oh yeah, stun resist. Take stun resist. Believe me, you are going to need it with this monster. Um, I mean, unless you're good. If, if you're not, if you're good, like, not me. <laughs> uh, stun resist is your best friend with Sappy. And we got some time, so I can do this. Let's make sure we do this so we can get a free tenderize. that rock steady doing its thing uh, can I get its harm no I didn't all right 
Now, hopefully, if this is the run, this means that I have enough time with no energy leading into the final floor. And yeah, I'm just doing this to um, refill on the smoke, uh, smoke, po oh, smoke potions, the smoke bombs, because I'm going to poison him once again and hopefully all I'll be able to poison him again this time because it really does help. Okay, it worked. I was genuinely worried. Like, I thought it wasn't going to work. We're going to tackle that. I would like a tenderize at this point, but oh, come on. Uh, at this point, when Safi's like at full power like this, the best spot to hit it is the chest, if possible. All right, it was just gonna do a pin attack right there, and Safi's pin is pretty devastating. But everything when it's in full powered state like this is a good hit zone as you can see I just did 999 if I could get a good hit on its chest it'll okay then I guess I wasn't far enough. The energy is being so far. All right, we definitely gotta look up here or look down. When it does this, uh, there's gonna be like red circles on the ground. Avoid those because those rocks that are falling from the ceiling will cause a hard knockdown. And yes, it hits very hard. Let's see if I can get another mount. I don't even know if that was like the best way to get damage in anyway. Get some free damage there. I wanting it to power up, so <sighs> alright, it's powered up. Ideally, this is what I like to do because uh, two of these but i guess it's also like on a timer if you can hit it two times in a row with these all right i guess i didn't i had the right time so right here is a free hit to the stomach or the chest if you can manage to hit it that is i'd say yeah that was a good stomach hit and you know it's still powered up so Oh, but it's doing that, though, so... You gotta get a free tenderize. Oh, it's doing this, so... Red flow circles, red circles. Ah. I 
and I broke the chest. As the energy is fully depleted, bringing it down here again. Check for the red circles. Yeah, Superman died that. Wouldn't it be something if I were to just hit that last part while it was flying and then I just got it right there? Oh, instant power up. Nice. Now Superman dived that. Uh. I just get the leg. we go I gotta say I think this went yeah this was like a whole almost a whole three minutes faster than the uh, the previous run but then again I did take more energy away and well there you go that was about oh my god like five or six runs good lord man <clears throat> so by that display of fraudulence right there, what can you determine, viewer? Can you or would you attempt to do Safi solo? If it took me about five or six runs per se. <laughs> if you ask me, not solo. If you could do it in a group, I'd say definitely go for it. If you could get a full group. Let me get one more lick. <clears throat> 